Hello, on behalf of Coleman County Sheriff's Office, the Coleman County Board of Education, today's workshop will be on drug awareness. Why are we holding this training? Identify certain types of drugs and what is being seen in schools. Identifying different types of drugs being used or available to our students. Identifying signs of drug use in students. We're going to discuss some issues associated with drugs. Most commonly used drugs by middle school and high school students on a national level is marijuana, inhalants, synthetic marijuana, cough medicine, as you see, and it goes all the way up to prescription medication. These are consistent with Alabama with the exception of heroin and methamphetamines. The use of methamphetamines and heroin continues to grow, not only locally, but on a statewide level. From January of 2016 to June 30th, 2016, Jefferson County reported 103 confirmed drug deaths, 46 heroin, 34 fentanyl, 13 heroin and fentanyl combined, which we'll talk more about that later on in the presentation. A 2014 study from the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Service Administration indicates that Alabama students aged 12 to 17, here's some uh, stats of drug use, marijuana use, uh, alcohol use, um, I feel that this number is probably low in some of the areas uh, due to kids not really wanting to uh, disclose their use when uh, it was the study was done. I feel that our uh, increase of prescription drug use among our students is really a lot higher than what it's showing because people feel that since it's a prescription written by a doctor and picked up at a pharmacy that it is okay to take. But that medication is prescribed for that person only for their condition. So they don't really realize what side effects that it may have. Uh, they just feel that it's a safe drug to use. Also, the numbers uh, have risen in the last year and a half among students as well as adult population. First drug we're going to talk about is marijuana. Uh, marijuana is a uh, plant type uh, drug. It's grown, then it's dried and smoked, either in a uh, rolled up as a cigarette type as students refer to or uh, any individual as a marijuana joint or it could be put in a pipe or some type of smoking device but also now the oils of marijuana can be put in a vape and have the same effects as actually smoking a joint the only difference is there's no smell to that compared to actually smoking uh, marijuana in a pipe or in a joint. Some uh, identifications of uh, people on marijuana. It's a depressant. Slows down messages between your brain and body. It's considered a Schedule One drug. As earlier I mentioned, it has a strong odor, mainly used by smoking, as we talked about, and also can come in an oil form. The next drug we're going to talk about is heroin. As we mentioned earlier, heroin use is on the increase locally and statewide. 
most people uh, will use heroin. They will uh, inject it into their uh, veins, wherever they can find a vein. As you see on the far right, the heroin is uh, melted down uh, to liquefy, and then it's drawn up in a syringe and then injected into a vein. Some short-term effects of heroin. It gives you a sudden rush. It depresses respiration, nausea and vomiting, and suppress to pain. Some long-term effects. It collapses the veins. You can uh, have a infection, bacterial infection, infection of the heart and valves, infectious disease of HIV or hepatitis B or C. Here you see some pictures of uh, people before and during meth or heroin use. Uh, big change in appearance, but not only with heroin, but all drugs affects how people look for several reasons. One is what the drug does to the body, uh, the lack of sleep, the lack of eating, just overall health of a person uh, really deteriorates the body fast uh, and it's hard to overcome a heroin addiction. Very few people will be able to get off heroin and recover uh, from it. Once they start using it, they continuously use it. Heroin is a depressant. It's a Schedule One drug, commonly used by, again, injecting into a vein. But it can be smoked or snorted, but most people inject it. Heroin is classified as an opiate uh, deprived from uh, the poppy seeds. Some indicators here is uh, effects observed for general, generally three to five hour range from uh, pain relief, vomiting, drowsiness, dry mouth, reduced appetite, confusion, slurred or slow speech, slow breathing, and heart rate which these are a lot of indicators for many drugs so you just cannot go off of these indicators to say that somebody is using heroin. Again, heroin is highly addictive. Users often overdose to an unknown strength of the heroin or seek the high they achieve after the first use but will not achieve therefore using more than the, their body can handle. So what happens is you use heroin and you reach such a high that you want to reach that high again, but you, you will never reach that high. So you continuously use heroin more often in larger amounts each time to try to reach that high. Here's some pictures of... Uh, Somebody using heroin, uh, you know, they may you have a tattoo where they tried to cover up the injection sites where uh, they inject the heroin. Also, times that people will try to hide where they're injecting it uh, so people do not notice the track marks from the IV needles. As you see here in this picture that this person has actually been uh, using heroin shooting up between their toes. They may shoot up between their fingers. Here are some street names for heroin. As you see there, uh, several different names. Brown Sugar, Capital H, China White, Good Horse, Hard Stuff, Little Boy, Mud, Smack, Tar. The next drug we're going to talk about is fentanyl. 
Fentanyl is used as a pain medication. It's a patch. As you see here, some signs of use. Uh, depressed respiration, confusion, drowsiness, nodding. Signs of overdose would be slow heart rate, seizure. Uh, respiration is reduced. Some slang terms or texting terms used for this is ice cream, china white, um, fading, A215s. Like I said, fentanyl is a patch that is applied to the skin and the medicine is absorbed through the skin. People are taking fentanyl and either cutting it up into little pieces and chewing on the little pieces to get the medication or the drug um, to be absorbed through the mouth, through the membranes, either in little pieces or they're putting a whole patch in their mouth and chewing up the whole patch. Uh, most people that are doing that will overdose uh, the first time they use that. But also, they will separate the patch, pull it apart, and take like a credit card or driver's license, and scrape the gel out of the uh, patch, and use the uh, gel part to be mixed with heroin, as we talked about earlier. So people are overdosing on the mixture of heroin and fentanyl because they don't know exactly what they're getting, how much of the drug is mixed in there. So a lot of people are overdosing and dying. Another street name for the uh, mixture of heroin and fentanyl uh, that I've dealt with personally was, uh, it was called creamy peanut butter. And it actually looked like peanut butter but it was wrapped up in a small little piece of plastic. One thing with fentanyl is that, like I said, it's uh, a patch that's applied to the skin and absorbed through the skin. You have to be very careful just touching it because you, as the individual, can have the uh, fentanyl be absorbed into your skin not knowing what you're picking up. It's used for uh, patients that have cancer, also anesthesia purpose. As we talked about earlier, the uh, often used in conjunction with heroin to make the potent of the heroin uh, that has been diluted stronger, where they're still trying to reach that high that they never reach again. Some street names just for fentanyl, uh, Dance Fever, Chinatown, TNT, Jackpot, Murder 8, Poison, Tango, Great Bear. It's interesting some of these street names that uh, people come up with that you wonder how they decide to start calling it uh, a certain name. The next we're going to talk about is methamphetamines. As you see in the first picture on the left, it looks like it's crystal clear or ice. Sometimes you may have heard on the news or read in the paper or a news story of uh, ice was discovered during a drug bust or along that line that's what you're seeing right there that picture is it's called ice because it looks like a sliver of ice it is the purest form of methamphetamine that is made the second picture shows a off-white color of meth the color is really determined by the 
stuff that it is mixed with to produce meth. Meth is not a new drug. Uh, if you actually go and do a little research on meth, meth was a form of meth was actually used back with Hitler to keep the soldiers going, staying up so much. The last picture on the right there shows how somebody that is uh, responding to clean up a meth lab has to protect herself so they don't breathe in the fumes or get the uh, chemicals or any residue on themselves or on their clothing. Here's some pictures that show how methamphetamines are used. Uh, as you see in the first picture on the left, the meth is put on the, the can and heated up through there and it is smoked. Uh, the second picture, as you see, uh, will basically be the same way. They heat the bottom of it and, uh, with some type of uh, lighter or fire, whatever, that matches. Get it hot and they inhale the fumes from it. Or else it can be uh, diluted down and injected. Just like earlier we showed the picture with uh, methamphetamines, or I'm sorry, with heroin. Methamphetamines can also be injected. It's a stimulant. It's highly addictive. Uh, it increases the dopamine in the brain. There's rapid weight loss, decreased appetite, sunken eyes, and dental issues, especially noticed in the teeth with what people refer to as meth mouth because it rots the teeth out. The chemicals that are mixed with uh, amphetamines to make meth, when you see somebody that has uh, sores, that is the way the body is trying to get rid of a substance that does not belong in the body. So it is trying to force it out, and the way it does is through the skin and causes sores. Uh, they itch it, or the irritation will cause the sores. Here's the pictures of uh, two different people with some mess sores. The next drug is prescription drug. As we mentioned earlier, it's an increase among young adults and adults of taking prescription medication as uh, overdosing. Some people do, but that's their way of, as I said earlier, a safe drug to take because it's a doctor has written a prescription for it to somebody or they're not taking it correctly. They're taking more than what has been prescribed. Most commonly used for drug abusers is Adderall, Xanax, uh, Oxycontin, Vicodin. Prescription drugs are most common form of drug abuse. Some are injected, but most are taken orally as intended, even though the drugs are prescribed. Make sure that your prescription is kept secure. Most students get them from home and take them until uh, they they don't take them until they get to school or on their way to school. What to look for? Some signs. Change in sleep pattern, slurred speech, sudden weight or weight loss or gain, skin abrasions, neglect in appearance, uh, sick more frequently, accidents or injuries. Some uh, hidden use, lying, covering up, depression, missing school or work, failure to ful fulfill responsibilities at school or work, complaints from the teachers, report of uh, being intoxicated.
Although you may not be searching people, you need to be familiar with ways students can conceal narcotics or other illegal contraband or weapons. As you see in the first picture on the left, it looks like you're just your normal uh, container of uh, cookies, a little plastic container, but it has been um, altered. So there's a hidden compartment in the very bottom. The picture on the right is a picture of a Pringles can. As you see, uh, the bottom comes out. There's a hidden compartment made in this Pringles can. books are often used where they cut out pages or maybe depends on what it is that they're trying to conceal it may actually just be a couple pages to make it look uh, full like the regular book or as you see here uh, a lot of pages cut out to where they're storing drugs and money pens and highlighters uh, as you see the highlighter is actually a uh, used for a pipe uh, on the, taken out from the bottom of the highlighter. Also shoes, uh, places inside the shoes, the insoles, or the very ends of the, the, or actually the toes of the shoes could be a place for storing drugs or any type of uh, contraband a phone or an iPod iPad or iPod uh, can be could be a dummy one or actually uh, altered where they can use it for storage a water bottle as you see here has been fixed to where the label is carefully taken off a uh, center part is used for storage of items, contraband, whatever it might be. The top screws back on. So as you see, once the label's put back around it, it appears to be a full bottle of water because there's water in the top and then also there's water in the bottom. So you have your hidden compartment between the uh, label to cover it up. Synthetic marijuana. Some street names, Spice, uh, has been used a lot on the news in media, K2, but here's some other uh, street names listed. It's dried shredded plant material that looks like potpourri, and it's sometimes sold as incense. It is smoked or swallowed, as in brewed in a tea or uh, the way that is used. Most people smoke it. Uh, it has a effect on them a lot different than regular marijuana. The high is a uh, high like heroin. It's very uh, abused drug and also very addictive drug. And it is sold uh, in certain stores in other states. Uh, it is illegal to possess in the state of Alabama. Crocodile is uh, a drug that basically came from Russia. It's a version of codeine. It's cooked similar to meth to produce. Uh, some things used as gasoline, paint thinner, lighter fluid, iodine. It's very dangerous chemicals that are mixed and are not always fully cooked. The drug has been noted as a fast acting 8 to 10 times more potent than morphine. However, half the life is short. Uh, due to the short high, many users find themselves in a rapid uh, repetition of drugs 
use with this. They use this to avoid uh, withdrawal symptoms that are with uh, heroin. Here's a comparison between heroin and crocodile. See heroin the high lasts four to six hours. Crocodile high lasts for one hour. Uh, withdrawals from heroin can last a week. Withdrawals from crocodile can last over a month. But look at the price here. Uh, heroin, a hundred to three hundred dollars per gram. And the cost of crocodile on average cost is ten to thirty dollars a gram. So it's a lot cheaper crocodile but they're using it more often because the high doesn't last long but as you see it's ten times stronger and three times more toxic than heroin I'm going to show you some pictures of uh, some people that have uh, been using crocodile what it does to their skin what it does to their body uh, it is a flesh-eating drug so uh, it eats from the inside out a lot of times or their skin, it'll show a picture here uh, why it's called crocodile because a wound or a scab of crocodile use looks like a skin of crocodile. As you see in this picture here, uh, the sore of the crocodile use. This person is actually uh, alive. Uh, as you see, uh, a lot of damage to that arm. Uh, as I said, it's flesh eating. Uh, it's just hard to really go into details of what a person, why a person would want to do this to their body, but also for any drug. But uh, as you see, it's, it's something else. It's a flesh eating street drug from Russia that has just recently hit uh, here in the United States. Flocka, in some parts of the country, it is also known as gravel because of its white crystal chunks that have been compared to uh, gravel in an aquarium. Here's a picture of Flocka. It's also known as a zombie drug, blamed for face-eating attacks. Flocka can be mixed with uh, different things to make it look like candy gummy bears in this picture here schools are drug-free zones uh, do not forget about alcohol and tobacco being classified as a drug uh, I know right now that is uh, really the the minor things of what we've talked about alcohol alcohol and tobacco use compared to the heroin and uh, meth and the other drugs that we've talked about but it is illegal to have at school and it is addictive and that can lead to other drug use uh, so just remember schools are drug free zones is it worth it a lawful distribution of a controlled substance of the drugs that we've talked about in this presentation uh, State of Alabama says sell, furnish, give away, deliver, or dis distribute is a Class B felony. While possession of controlled substance is a Class C felony. Public intoxication, a person commits the crime of public intoxication if he appears to be in a public place under the influence of alcohol, narcotics, or other drugs to the degree that he endangers himself or anyone else or another person property by annoying that person so if you go out and locally and have a beer with your supper and you walk out of the restaurant you cannot be arrested for public intoxication unless you're being a nuisance to somebody then that falls under public intoxication If you have any questions, you need to contact your local SRO concerning this presentation.